Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Omori with Minotaurus PLT. Uh, so we still got the creepy starting screen. Um, I now have to remember what, oh, no, what it is that we gotta do, man. Uh, there was, like, there was a party or something we wanted to visit, right? This is, oh, wait, we, there was, like, a toy chest or something we have to get, we have to use a key on, right? So I'm going to look around for anything that looks like a toy chest. Which I'm going to guess it's going to be... What, maybe it's in Basil's room? I don't know. Oh, wait, dude, it's a freaking... It's a Nintendo or something. Like a Super Nintendo, it looks like, by the controller. Or maybe a PlayStation? I don't know. Um, what? What's wrong, hero? What the fuck is happening? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Oh, yes, okay. Don't worry, hero, I got you. Now, where is that pesky little... Ah, I got you now. No, don't kill it. Put it outside. It's alright now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. Show it to me. Huh? Did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, it's right. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. No, don't kill spiders, man. Just put them outside. I'm gonna go flush it down the toilet now, okay? Man, he does not like spiders. I mean, like, I don't like spiders either, but I'm not about to go kill them, you know what I'm saying? And I'm back. But the spider's gone. That's like magic. And now he's fine. Okay. Huh. Thank goodness. Hero, I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? Gasp! You, you really think that could happen? Uh, yes. Man, Hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. Alright. Alright, so, so we're playing Vigi games and listening to Muzak. Wait, maybe the, choi the toy chest was in Basil's place? Perhaps? Um, I don't see anything here that is reminiscent of a, of a toy chest. I mean, this is probably the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that looks like a toy chest. Um, man. And I doubt, well, I mean, I guess we could check the other room, so I, I doubt there's going to be one in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, I, and also, uh, not going to be one in here. Right, okay. I feel like it's going to be in, ba in, uh, in Basil's house. But there was also a party we wanted to go to, right? Who the hell is this guy? All American guy's eyes are fixated on the TV. Number 85 is wide open. What kind of pass was that? All right, yeah, okay. Sports Lord. I love all these people just let us into their house. A big seashell. If you hold up the seashell to your ear, you can hear the ocean. All right, I don't think we're, we're still giving uh, seashells to that, that girl, right? She just wanted the one, and that was it. Yeah. Or wait, are you the person? Hey, Kellenoder, or Notori. If you see any seashell, <laughs> seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. I mean, I, I just think that would be weird if we could pick up the one that was on her desk and be like, here you go. <laughs> I'd be a little screwy, right? I mean, I, okay, I might as well try. Although I think this is one of the ones that we gave her earlier, right? Big seashell, yeah. If you hold it up here, you can hear the... Okay, yeah. Or have we given her a seashell? I thought we might have. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. But anyway, I, I felt like there was a uh, like a party or something going on, and we've already been we've already been in there. Uh, excuse me, madam. Um, what? You just disappeared, huh? Was this the house? Knock knock. There's nobody here, right? Yeah, no response. Okay, so I. I, I forget exactly, I mean, okay, the party's gonna happen in the place that actually has, like, balloons and crap outside, right? And this is... Is this Basil's house? 
No, maybe? No, Basil's house had more stuff, right? Or you? Snip, 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 snip. Okay. Oh, this is uh, uh, Kim and uh, the other dude's house, right? Alright, so we don't have to worry about this place either. Although, wait, what's back here? Oh, right, this is like a yoga room. Yoga is apparently, like, super good for you, by the way. I mean, like, I feel like I'm just, you know, I say that and everybody's gonna be like, well, yeah. <laughs> some sort of physical activity, man, who'd have thought? Who would have thought that doing some form of physical act, uh, activity would be good for you, right? This is... I don't remember whose house this is. Oh, no, this is the dude uh, who's the caretaker of that uh, that older woman, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Or, well, maybe it's actually the other way around. Yeah. So wait, where was the, where was the party at? I feel like there was a party that we wanted to go to later. Also, where'd the cat go, dude? I want to get that cat back and send the cat to, you know, a safe place. Please let me in. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Uh, yes. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh, no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe you just need some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Yeah, dude. Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. I'm gonna do it. Alright, let's save. This is more of a just-in-case save. Like, in case the game is like... You've made a final choice, and now you're doomed! Alright, we're gonna go into each of these rooms first. Okay, because I want to see if there's a toy chest that we find. I thought there was one before, but... Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care so much about him. You're kind of blocking the bathroom, so like, how would we pee if we needed to? Hey Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Cal Aubrey and Notori. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? <sighs> Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. Hmm, I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other uh, when we needed each other the most. This time, wait, last time we all, okay, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. Okay, this time, We'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you're all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome. I call the couch. Ah, this is all happening so fast. Okay, since, uh, okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. You would do that. Hopefully we get to do other things before the night ends. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. <laughs> oh my god. Ow, that hurt. Alright. Bathroom? Nothing in here, huh? Where the hell was that goddamn toy chest, man? Alright, um, let's go outside. I think we should stay here for it. Oh, yeah. Last time we all made... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, um, 
You know what, we'll save in a different slot, how's that? Yes. Do you want to hang out with your friends? Yes. I see what looks like cookies, perhaps? Maybe eggs and bacon on the plate, and then a bag of potato chips? Is that cookies? I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. It could be like some kind of bun or something, I guess? So are we just chatting away? Yeah, we're just chatting away. No button presses that I use are doing anything. Hey, Notori. I know this probably wasn't the last uh, night in town you were expecting. But I just want you to know that even though you're moving our way tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Ugh. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mari's still here with us, uh, with us too. You know, I hope we'll be, uh, we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Notori. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Yawn. Man, I'm getting sleepy. Snore. What the? Is he asleep already? Snore. Snore. <laughs> Snore. Snore. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Dude, I used to be exactly the same. Like, I could fall asleep anywhere. That has changed dr dramatically. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Hey, Notori. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. Hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Notori. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Hmm. That sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Indeed. Snore. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Notori. See you all in the morning. Where the hell was that damn chest, dude? He drooling. She's not. <laughs> I love how he called the couch and just fell asleep. Hmm. It, it, by that I mean like fell asleep without. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Hmm. Oh, the I will you forgive me? The eye monsters maybe it was like everybody staring at Basil, making them feel uncomfortable. My best friend. Please. Uh, that's not a nice look. That's that's a very worried look, I think.
What's happening? Are we in white space again? Uh... Where are we? Oh, hello. Oh, what? Nothing but static. A tissue box. Sketchbook. Take a look inside? Yes. Um. There's nothing, my man. Nothing. Zip, zero, zilch. Light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? No. Yes? Okay, this is a cutscene of some sort, it seems. I actually forget what the significance of the light bulb was. This is the problem when I only have, you know, like, an hour to play at a time. <laughs> Okay, it's the eyeball monster. Your eyeball ghost, whatever you want to call him. Uh, hi. Remove emotions and heal some heart. Something. Something drags no uh, Tori into the shadows. Ow. Tori attacked something. The attack did nothing. Okay, so we're gonna just calm down. Yeah, just breathe, buddy. Just breathe. It's cool. You recovered 40 heart and calm down. Cool. Something drags Notori into the shadows. Did it some damage. I'm just gonna keep calming down. I think. Maybe? <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. Something taunts Notori as he falls. Calm yourself down. No reason to be afraid, dude. I will, uh, can we run? Just calm ourselves down. I mean, it, it does, you know. Just chill out, man. So you're gonna take us through all of our fears. Drags us into the shadows again. Did 30 damage. I will calm myself down. Drags me to the shit. Wait, did it say I recovered 40 health? But I thought I only was on like 30. Yeah, we're only down 30. I'm fairly certain it brought us down to 50 last time as well. Hey, it's a weird sp Wait, it's like a, an amalgam of the spooter and the, the stair monster. Oh, wait. Oh, there was a focus. I don't remember what focus was. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Re okay, so I think it's just telling us the amount of health that we actually recover from that. Focus. Maybe this is where we attack? I don't know. Calm down. So it keeps taking me to where I am afraid, or like to things that I'm afraid of. Let's attack you then. You dragged me into the shadows again. Did I actually do the attack or no? Oh, I took. Okay, I took some damage. Did I attack him? I, okay, the attack did nothing. So focus is not going to help us. It's really just like I gotta heal and that's it. I guess. Okay, so this is the underwater persist. Cannot reach zero for one turn. Maybe persist is the way to go because this might actually cause like a ton of damage. I don't know. Uh, there's like nothing here, man. All right, we're gonna calm down again. 
I want to get that fear out of here. Something sways in the wind. Calm down. This very much reminds me of, like, fear of the unknown kind of stuff, you know what I mean? There's a lot of... I feel like a lot of human fear is based on just, uh... Oh, hi. You feel like your life is in danger. Persist. Um, I feel like a lot of human fear is like really just uh, fear of the unknown. Um, your lungs tighten up. You know, like, I feel like once you fully understand something, unless you have, like, a, a heinous phobia, uh, there's not really... Like, understanding something takes away a lot of the, the fear elements, I feel like. Your fingers won't stop trembling. Persist, dude. Hear your breathing begin to steady. You hear your heart begin to steady. Yeah, yeah. And it makes sense that attacking these things doesn't do anything. Because, like, you know and learn to overcome. Ooh. Gather all your courage. Uh, you know, like, these fears are all intangible things, you know what I mean? So, like, how do you attack that? You don't. You have to, you know, psychologically overcome them. Which, I, I love that that's, you know, exactly how they went with this. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it. And if you did, you know what to do. That is going to be for me, Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.